everyone it's me shan welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome <laughs> Okay, so in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I had a 2.8 GPA. And so like, it was like, I'm not going to say it was crazy, but like right after that video, I went to go and check my GPA and I currently have a 3.1 GPA. That is so great because I'm like so close to my goal. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes on. But today's video is going to be about how I went from a 2.3 to a 2.8. And now I'm at a 3.1, which is where I would have liked to um, begin in the first place at a 3.1. But that's okay because I'm here now. And that's what all that's all that matters. First, I want to talk to you all about the things that you will need. Okay, so for starters, you will definitely need like a laptop, a computer, a computer or a phone. But I highly recommend a laptop because like with a phone, I know like for my computer and applications class um, that I took in term three, I tried to do my work on my phone, but if I'm not mistaken, I think there was something about like a, a flash drive or something like that. I think that's why, or maybe I was able to do it, but maybe it wasn't that class, but I know sometimes you have like little things like that that'll stop you from doing your schoolwork. And then again, the screen may be too small. Um, and as for like a desktop computer, you can't pick that up and carry it with you everywhere you go, but with the laptop, you can. And it doesn't matter, well, I'm not gonna say it doesn't matter which laptop you get, but I've seen like a lot of um, students, they have like the iPad Pro, or even I know one student I recently watched, I can't remember her name, but she had a Dell lap, lap, three-in-one laptop where you can like flip it over and it had the pen and you can like draw on it um or whatnot so that's how like a lot of students like take their notes they have like three in one laptops or they have like tablets um but me personally i just have notebooks and a laptop for like if i want to um just type up my notes on word or something like that okay so you know like you'll need the normal school supplies like pencils paper a backpack things like that but um my backpack i i got the flo Jobin kanken backpack and excuse me if i'm like mispronouncing that i will link my video down below where i show you what's in my backpack and all the different school supplies that i have but i'm not going to get into that right at the moment so when i talk about notebooks these are the notebooks that I have. So they're um, they're like these little ring binder um, notebooks. And so I show you in the my what's in my backpack video, but I just show you again. So you like just click it down like that, and that's how you open up the little the rings. And you can just take out, remove it just like this, remove all the paper. And I feel like that's much easier for me. And it, and it actually saves money because if you have like a normal notebook, um, you can't just take paper in and out of it. So, um, with the, with these little notebooks, I'll link them down below. I get them from Amazon. Um, there comes, let's see, five of them. And it also comes with a pack of paper. I'm dropping everything right now. As well as these little um, tabs, which I actually use um, for like my psychology class. And then it also comes with these little um, note tabs. Now these are the note tabs that you put in your book and I highly recommend you get invest in note tabs too. Um, 
And then these are the tabs that you actually put here, like on your notebook. So like you can just flip to whichever um, set of work you want to. Um, you, it doesn't matter what little um, note tabs you get, as long as they're like little tabs, they can be the paper ones or even the little plastic ones, which I get these from like Dollar Tree. And there's like um, quite a bit of them there. But I think I like the paper ones better because these, I use these in my Bible as well, but they tend to like slide off, slide around and then things like that. So make sure you pick up some note tabs. So next I just want to talk about, well, books. Okay, so book tabs, you're gonna need your books. And me personally, like, I guess it just depends on, um, like, where you get your books from. Like, I got my books from the actual um, bookstore for my university. But I know in my previous university, we used this online bookstore called eCampus. Um, but I recommend you order your books at least two weeks before class starts. I ordered mine a week ahead and I thought that would work but I'm not taking summer classes so but even if I did like I wouldn't have all my books so I'm sort of like I'm kind of glad that I'm not taking summer classes because I would have had like I still summer classes they started yesterday and even the teachers they began sending out emails before um um the classes were supposed to start so I would have been like ugh not good at all so yes I definitely recommend ordering your books two weeks ahead of time or even before then but I just just be careful too because I don't know if this will happen but um the teachers they'll probably end up changing the books real quick um which I hope that doesn't happen because then that causes a lot of chaos if you already ordered your books but it's no big deal just order ahead of time now, before I get into the study tools that I used um, to help me study, which also don't forget to go check out the how I study video is actually pretty simple. Um, you don't even have to watch the video, just the entire video. Well, I hope you do, but it's just telling you like how I study and things like that. Because I'm gonna be honest, I am not really good at studying, which is why, uh, I'm going to talk about planners now. And so how I planned out my time, how I planned um, out time for me to study and things like that. Super cool. Um, but before I get into like the study plan or whatnot, I definitely need to tell you about the planners that I have. Okay, so this academic planner, I received this academic planner when I attended um, my previous university. And it was given to me by my advisor. And so it doesn't matter, like, well, it actually does matter what kind of planners that you have. And I'll just get into that um, in a little bit. But what I like, what I did for this. Um, so you see here, I have my, I have my schedule for my intro to psychology class. And I wrote down everything, like. First, I highly recommend, okay, take out your schedule, um, print out your schedule. You don't even have to print it out. You can just look at your schedule and write down everything um, that's on your schedule. Write it down in your planner. I just like to have things like in my hand. So, um, for instance, September the 4th, I have to read, I had to read Consciousness. I had to read chapter four. So I wrote that down in my planner. And like every, I also took out the time to highlight um different courses different colors and i also i got this technique from hannah ashton i have to link her video down in the description box below um but everything that's pink is for psychology and i wrote down every single thing and um um, this planner is for um, my current university that I attend now, and this was also given to me, well, not by my advisor, but by my university orientations teacher. So, for example, I am, this is my, um, developmental psychology schedule, like, for 
this was my schedule for turn four. And so, um, I'm just going to go to... This was at the beginning when I first started at Troy. I wrote down every single thing. And I also color coded. So purple was for my university orientations class. Blue was for my um, abnormal psychology class. And orange was for my computer applications. Computer concepts and applications class. Um, so let's see. Okay. Now I can go back to this. So, where is it? Okay, so I didn't, I used color code, like I color coded again. So pink was for my um, English 1101 class. Purple was for my developmental psychology class. And orange was for my intro to sociology class. So color coding definitely helps and it also helps to have everything that you have on your schedule for each of your classes. Put it down in your planners. Okay, so out of the planner, like between um, the planner that I received at Troy and the planner that I received from my previous university, I personally like the one that I received from my previous university. Well, I think I, well, I really don't. There, it's a tie. I, I like both of them. Okay, and here's why. So with this one, it's just a lot of room. Um, I just feel like there's just a lot of space. It has all of um, the dates um, and like the days of the dates. And it also has like little, you write little notes at the top. And it has like these little quotes. It's like at each, um, on each page. I thought that was very, very cute. And it also has a section where you write out your goals. Okay, so for the one I received from Troy, I like this one too because it has an actual calendar, okay? And then it it gives you the option to write down everything with all of this extra space. And it's actually it's smaller too. So, um, yeah, I like this one. And it also has something at the back where you can put all of your contacts and even make more notes. And it has your personal information, well, my personal information. And then it has like this. Yeah. So I don't think the other one had all of this, to be exact. It just has this at the top. Like where I put my name and my number over here where my hand is. And then it has like set your goals. Yeah, so... I really like both of them. And I mainly like this one because I feel like it was just so much space. And it just allowed me to, like, see everything in color. <laughs> I like colors. So, now I'm going to get into, like, different planners. So, this video. I've been wanting to do this video um, ever since I found out that my GPA increased. But in the description box below, I also want to share with you um, Lavish Ruby. Um, she also, um, she's like, she's an entrepreneur. She's also a student. I think um, she probably already like graduated from college. But um, she like has her own company and she has a planner as well. And yeah, it's really, really cute. I don't have that planner, but I, I watched her video on um, how she uh, maintained, like how she reached a, maintained a 4.0 GPA, how she reached a 4.0 GPA. So I'm going to link that video down below because it was very, very helpful. Um, she gave some helpful tips in the videos about how to like just make sure you develop a relationship with your teacher, find somebody, um, get your, find some people in your class, get their contacts, exchange numbers. So like, if you need like questions about, if you need to ask questions, like if you missed a day, ask questions about what went on, what went on in class and, um, things like that. And she also mentions getting a planner and that's where she mentions her planner. So that planner looks really, really nice. Um, but I also have this workbook. It's the Dream Achieve Workbook by Hannah Ashton. I love Hannah Ashton. So um, I just wanted to share 
this with you. I haven't really written in a lot, but I'm going to start using it more often because it's really, really helpful. So this was for term four. I wrote down all of my classes. I circled what days I had them and I checked off that I purchased my books. And so this is really, really great because I would have been able to say like, whatever week I had to do something, I write it down, what I had to do, the things that I need to do for that entire week. And then I just like write it out, like plan it out over here, whatever. And here's the rest of it. So it's Monday through Sunday. And also she has like the, like a full month so you can, like, I could have wrote out everything that I need, that I, like, everything for my schedule onto this for that, for the, for the month. And it would have worked just as fine. And this, it not only, like, it's not only, like, a planner for, like, school, but it's also a planner to help you develop, like, your self-care routines, like, your meal plan, your workout plan. It's an ideal plan. It's an ideal planner for college students you know um and even if you're in high school i'm guessing um it could help too but it's definitely ideal for college students i would definitely say that um you have a revenue revenue tracker and your profit calculator right now i'm trying to develop a morning routine that best suits me and so it also has um something for that too. Now we can finally get into study tools. So first I'm going to talk about developing a study schedule, more like a weekly study plan. So in my university orientations class, I made up a weekly study plan for my abnormal psychology class. So, for example, um, I'm going to show you, give you a better view. Okay, so I printed everything, like, I typed up everything, printed it out. And so, like, here, before class, I need to pre preview my PowerPoints for the week and preview the summary for each chapter, preview a weekly report and weekly assignment. And then after class... I review the notes from the class lecture. So I put this on Sunday because I need to do before class. So my classes was at eight o'clock in the morning. So I was like, oh no, I'm going to, and I commute. So I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to sit at home, study all of this, and then, you know, um, be able to make it to class on time. So I would do this on Sunday the day before and then after class on Monday I will review the notes from the class lecture lecture and for the review I will preview the first chapter highlight important information and review questions from the chapter it took me a while to actually get used to this because I'm not really a person that was great at studying I don't think I was ever really great at studying and so like now I'm I'm just getting better at it I guess well I won't be taking classes this summer, but still. Um, and yeah, so I also put when I should begin my assignments and when I need to finish it up and submit it. And I just basically, I included some things like from my syllabus because like what days I have to submit the quiz and things like that. And I also just sort of like try to incorporate things that would be best for me because in my one of my videos, which I talked about how I study, I go through like how the PowerPoints, looking at the PowerPoints really help me um, determine what I need to study and what's really going to possibly the main points that are possibly going to be on the quiz. Um, so... And I actually had to do this. Share with others what you learned in class this week. Um, well, that was part of my weekly report. I would type up um, what I told like a family member or a friend about, tell them 
what I learned in class. Then I would type it up, like telling what I told them what I learned in class. If that story sounds a little bit confusing. And then I would put in like how they respond, like what they thought about it. And if they learned anything new and like just their reaction about it. Um, so, and that helped. That's a great way to review too. Like share with others what you learn. And that's another reason why I started my blog, my blog. So I can talk about psychology and, um, and so I could share with people what I've learned in my psychology courses. So yeah, stay tuned for that because there will definitely be more blog posts coming soon. Okay. So, okay. Now, before I mentioned something about goals. Okay. So smart goals is specific, measurable, action oriented, realistic, and time bound. That's what smart stands for. It's the SMART goal map. Okay, so I'm just going to show you my goal map. My goal was to have an overall 3.5 GPA, and my reward was so that I can apply to Sci Chai, which is a psychology club um, that I'm interested in joining. So my goal was to obtain that overall GPA. And so I divided it up into, like, my three classes. Like, okay, I know that says F. But I was actually looking at that wrong, so I didn't like have an F in that class at all. Um, but I had a normal science, university orientation, computer applications, and concepts. So for a normal psych, I would start the um, WOW report on Tuesday. I forgot what WOW stands for. WOW stood for. Um, yeah. And then, because it was due on Thursday, no, it was due on Friday, so I was started on Tuesday. And then I would study each chapter summary, and I would make my own test. So I could continue to keep up, to have and maintain an A in that class, so I could maintain a high average in that class. And then for university orientations, I would turn in all assignments before the due date and read the modules okay modules is just like a textbook online basically and um computer applications and concepts i will complete assignments before the due date do extra credit which i did i didn't do all of it but i did some of it and study review notes so as you see i have different like different things that i want to do for each class that will help me maintain a high average. So it depends on, it totally depends on the class and the assignments that are given to you. Um, so I do recommend making a little SMART goal, um, coming up with your SMART goals and at, in, in the end, you know, put a reward. Like what will be your reward? What are you aiming for? And I'm aiming to be a part of SciChat. Um, so yeah, this is like the actual table. The questions. Next, let's talk. What do you say? Highlighters and markers. So I personally, I really like these um, mild liners because they have like two sides. This side is thicker and this side is thinner right here. And the colors are really pretty too. And I use them on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I also like the fine, well, the Stabilo fine um, point pens, fine liners. Um, I also use these when like from when I'm highlighting in my Bible and things like that. Um, it's just very, very, um, I really like them. And then these are actually like Bible highlighters from um, the Daily Grace Co. Daily Grace Company. And um, this is what I use for to highlight in my planner that I had from my previous university. Um, and they're like, um, I forgot what kind. Um, Highlighters, you call these. I forgot what you call them. There's there's a word for them. Like, yeah. But gel highlighters, I'm thinking. I think you call them gel lighters or something like that. But they're really cute. 
And I also want to talk about also like study um, apps that can help you. And the one that always comes to my mind is Quizlet. So Quizlet, it's for me, for making my own test, Quizlet definitely helps. That's the way where I can make my own test online. Don't have to deal with a bunch of papers. And it's pretty, pretty convenient. So if you don't already have a Quizlet account, I highly recommend that you make one because it does help. You make your own flashcards. You, um, you make your own tests. You play little games to help you, like, to help you know what you need to know. And also, the cool thing about Quizlet is that I, um, had to do, like, for developmental psychology, like, we had to do assignments or whatever. And so I copied all of my, part of the assignments was defining some of the vocabulary. So I copied all of the vocabulary and then I paste and I pasted it onto a quiz page. It allows you to export um, like your vocabulary words that you tied up in Word, um, Microsoft Word. It allows you to export that to Quizlet so you won't have to go in and type up everything over again. That's really, really cool. Now, before I end this video, I want to introduce you to this little booklet right here. This was given to everyone in my university orientations class as a little gift. Um, it's for the Center for Student Success. And if you watched in my previous videos, I mentioned TRIO um, at Troy University is um, um, student support services. Like that's, this is where it comes from. Like it's a gift from them. Um, and so in this little booklet, it just gives you, um, some tips for you to stay, um, successful academically. And so it says tip one, attend all classes. Tip two, sit up and sit up front in class. Um, let's see, tip nine, use an academic planner. Um, tip 13, seek academic help. And tip 11, enroll in University 101 first year courses. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that Troy makes that a requirement to enroll in university orientations because I learned so much in that class that helps me in school and out of school. It's just really great. And let's see, tip 28, just say no. Like if you know you have work to do and like you're trying to just sometimes just you just have to say no because if you don't, then you'll end up just keep saying yes and keep trying to do things for people, knowing that you have work on your own to do. It's not being selfish. It's just being honest with yourself. Like, am I going to be able to do this? Because I'm pretty sure there's someone else who can help them. You know, there's someone else who can help that person who asks for your help. If And if you know you really can't do it right now, just be honest. Tell them that you really can't do it right now. And I'm sh I hope that they understand. And let's see, yeah, these, these are just the different tips. So I just wanted to share this book with y'all. Um, This is who it's by, just in, if you wanted to like look it up. Well, you can just look up the title. 51 Tips for Academics, it says College Edition. So um, it's, it's a really interesting book. I like it a lot. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel please do. Also, don't forget to click and watch those videos that I linked down below. The one about to, um, about how I study, the one about what's in my full job and, full job and Kankin backpack, um, Hannah Ash's video about like, um, like how she plans out um, everything in her planner and she used a little cute little highlighters and also Lavish Ruby. Um, how to obtain a four or four point GPA. Watch that video as well. So that's how many videos? Four videos. Four videos. Okay. And comment down below. Let me know um, what you thought of this video. If it helped you, and let me know if you watched the other videos and how that helped you, and like what um, what you're gonna like start to implement to help you uh, obtain your GPA and things like that. And if you're gonna use the smart um, goal chunking, if you're going to use that as well. 
and also I will link down below like where I get all of the my little school supplies like I'll link where I get the Hannah Ashton the link to the Hannah Ashton well not the Hannah Ashton planner but the dream achieve workbook <laughs> um the fine liners and the mild liners um where I get my backpack from uh, also where I get my notebooks from so I'll link all of that in the description box below I love you and have a great day. Mwah.